بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Welcome to the second lesson We have already finished the first lesson I hope everyone has mastered that lesson uh, If you have mastered that lesson Then inshallah it's going to be easy Here you see this is the second lesson And second lesson the letters are mixed up together Sometimes you see two letters together At times you see three letters together They're mixed up And this is to help you recognize the letters uh, Within the words uh, A letter may come in the beginning of the word In the middle of the word it may come at the end of the word, so you need to recognize them, how they appear. Uh, it's not as simple as English, uh, that you just write a letter. But however, in the Arabic language, letters are co to, to make words, you have to connect letters together. You have, you have to make like a bridge and you have to make a physical connection between the letters for you to make uh, them into a word. Uh, because of that, you have to cut certain letters and you know attach with the second letter and so on and so forth here in this lesson we're going to learn that okay bismillahir rahmanir rahim uh up there in the uh in the green uh you should have downloaded the file the file for this lesson which comes with the lecture uh this is the second lesson at the second lesson huruf al-hijal muqaba these are basically uh um connected letters okay connected letters Let's cover them. <coughs> we're going to just read, and uh, after that, we're going to cover some uh, facts. We have Alif. We know this already. Here we have this one, the red one. What do you think that is? It is going down and it is bending. This is lamb, right? If you imagine, if you remember this lamb, right? Right? So this is lamb. Each letter has a color, right? I don't know. So you know these are two letters, it's not one letter. Because this is red and then black. So this is Lam Alif. Lam Alif. This one also red one. It goes bending. Lam. And then this is Alif. Uh, this connection is just made in the back. Don't worry about it. This is just to connect it together. Lam Alif. It's just like this. But it just has this connection in the back in the back. Which doesn't really mean anything, but this is just calligraphy how Arabic is written. Lam Alif. <laughs> okay, now this one. What do you think this is with the dot under it? Ba, right? And this is Alif. Ba Alif. So you're going to pronounce each letter separately. Ba Alif. This one. Okay, right one is Lam again. Right? And then Alif. Lam Alif. Another way of writing Lam Alif. Lam Alif Lam Alif Lam Lam Alif This has a tail in the back, doesn't really matter Lam Alif This one is basically nothing but uh, Let's pronounce it as a lamb right? Imagine it's a lamb coming down Lam And what is this letter? Ha Lam Ha Lam Ha Right? Next one, same thing like this. Lam alif, lam alif. There are three letters here. Ba lam ba, ba lam ba. Here, this is one of the shapes of calf. You see inside the calf, right? So imagine this is a calf. How it connects to the beginning of the word. Calf, calf. Kaf ba, kaf ba. Follow me. Kaf alif, kaf alif. Ba kaf ta, ta kaf tha. Ba ta tha. Noon ya. با ألف نون ألف تاء ألف يا ألف ثاء ألف با سين يا سين نون سين 
Tasin. Fasin. Differentiate between a fa and sin. Fa tongue out, sin tongue in. Fasin. Fajim. Taha. Noon ha. Ya ha. Ya ha. Bajim. Ya mim. Ba mim Noon mim Ta mim Fa mim Ba ya 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 Noon ya Ta ya Fa ya Noon balam Ta noon lam Ba ya lam Ya ta lam Fa fa lam Noon ba noon Turn to the next page Next page. Ba noon noon. Ta ya noon. Ya ta noon. Fa fa noon. Jim. Ha. Kha. حافا خابا جيمتا تحاتا يا جيمبا باخاتا What is this? It's a hat. But when you put two dots on top of it, it becomes a ta. You pronounce it as a ta. Like a regular ta. Ta. This is? Ha, ha, this one, ba, ta, ya, ha, this is a ha when it connects, ya, ha, <coughs> ta, ha, another shape of ha, nun, ta, ha, you see all these are shapes of ha, this is two eyes, a ha with two eyes. <coughs> ha Ya ha ba Ba ha alif Ba ha mim Dal <coughs> Dal Jim dal <coughs> Kha dal Ra Za Jim ra Kha za Ra Za Ra za And Ra za Ya Ra Ya with two dots under it Ra here Ya ra Ta za Sin 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 lam Sin lam Sade, bade, pa, va, sad ba, pa ba, bad alif, va alif, ayn, gayn, 
Hamza, right? This Hamza, don't confuse it. Ain. Hamza always just comes by itself like this. Hamza. Ain za. Ain za. Ghain ra. Is ghain here? And then connect with ra. Ra you saw here. Sad ain. Now you connect ain, it just closes its mouth. Right? This is ain. See the mouth is closed. Sad ain. Bad ghain. Okay? Here. Ba ain dal. This ain. Same ain here. Ba ain dal. So what is this? This is alif or and yeah. No, it's not. It has hamza on top of it. Anytime you see a hamza, it doesn't matter what's under it, pronounce it as a hamza. Hamza, 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 fa. Okay, turn to the next page. Last page of the lesson. Off. Wow. Off. Wow. Fa. Wow. Fa. Off. Lam. Off. Fa. Lam. Ya. Fa. Mim. Mim. Just shape of mim. Ha. Mim. Lam mim ta mim ta mim ta Alhamdulillah this is uh, just exercises so um, you know and just different shapes uh, let me just cover that with you quickly uh, some letters may have different shapes um, but that shouldn't confuse you now because uh, you just follow on right now and as we move on, we're going to see these shapes uh, repeating throughout this book, so you'll get used to them. But, uh, for example, we have um, the letter Alif, right, uh, may come in different forms. I'm just going to write down, but uh, this shouldn't confuse you. Alif can come in a regular form, it can come in a small form, it's small. Alif can come on top of a wow. It's pronounced as alif. Alif can come on top of a ya. It's pronounced as alif, right? Uh, and alif can come on an empty place. You know, just this is just nabra, which is um, an empty, uh, empty. Uh, you know, uh, it's nothing. It's not a letter, but it just comes like this in the words. Uh, hamza, hamza can come like this by itself. Hamza can come on top of an alif. It can come under alif. It can come on top of a wow, it can come on top of a yeah, uh, and it's also it can uh, come on an empty place. They're all pronounced as Hamza. Again, don't worry, you will get that. I'm just covering with you so you have these notes. We're going to see them throughout. Also, some other letters, for example, we have the letter Ta. We have an open Ta and we have a closed Ta, right? We showed you that before. <coughs> um, ain and Ghain, when they're connected to the end, again, we said the mouth closes, so they, they look like this. Okay? This one, it just uh, closes. Um, Calf by itself or at the end it looks like this and when you connect it it is like this uh, meme 
you can have different shapes meme like this or meme laying down okay or like this something like that it doesn't really matter but it's meme uh, the letter ha it looks like this and uh, it can have two eyes also okay uh, it may look like this it may look like this you know different shapes of hat okay and yeah yeah we already know if this is yeah and yeah may also look like this um, but uh, we're going to see these throughout the book inshallah don't let this uh, confuse you with nila okay uh, this is about it and next time we will move on uh, so just uh, repeat this lesson practice this it practice it uh, so you good in recognition inshallah assalamu alaikum see you in the next letter uh, next lesson